I hope you like deep dish pizza. What food do you most associate with New York? How about Texas or California? From the East Coast seafood treasures to the Midwest comfort food classics and the Southwest spicy sensations, we're serving up the most iconic food in every state. See what's on your state's menu. We are not moving to Chicago for like a billion reasons. But babe, pizza. Alabama. Help me, mayonnaise! When it comes to barbecue, Alabama dances to the beat of its own sauce. Forget the classic red sauces. Here, it's all about the creamy, mayo-based white sauce that blankets tender smoked chicken. Bob Gibson, the barbecue visionary, crafted this unique concoction in 1925. And today, it's an Alabama icon. It's gonna be legend, wait for it, dairy. Alaska. Hey! Hey! Crab meat! In the land of snow and ice, Alaskans have a love affair with king crab. Tracy's King Crab Shack in Juneau serves up the Bering Sea's finest. From crab cakes to colossal claws, it's a crab lover's paradise. So don't miss the best legs in town. Crab's legs, that is. I'm really in the mood for crab legs. Arizona. Time to make the chimichangas. In the heart of Arizona, a culinary accident became a legend. At El Charo Cafe, the chimichanga was born when a burrito took a deep fryer plunge. Today, Tuscan and Oro Valley sizzle with options, from mini delights to colossal USA Today-sized chimis bursting with chicken, beef, shrimp, beans, or carnitas. Con carne. <laughs> Con carne. <laughs> Arkansas. Can I eat the pickle? Well, there's a lot of salt in it, but yeah, it's fine. In 1963, Duchess drive-in owner Fat Man Austin invented the fried pickle, selling a basket for 15 cents. Today, they're served all over Arkansas, typically paired with ranch or ketchup, depending on your pickle passion. No ketchup! No ketchup! California. Is there an avocado crisis? Californians adore their avocados. They've taken this creamy green gem and made it a statewide sensation. From burgers to ice cream, it's avocado mania. But the crown jewel? Avocado toast, where endless toppings like caviar, feta, and radishes elevate the humble toast to a gourmet delight. Oh my god, delicious. Colorado. Give me some of the lamb's head. In the centennial state, lamb reigns supreme. Renowned for the world's finest, it's often accompanied by a warm cheese fondue, tantalizingly creamy with pepper jack and adorned with a symphony of fresh chilies. A true Colorado delight. I like to eat lamb chops. <laughs> Connecticut. Clam and scallop. In Connecticut, they marry seafood and pizza with white clam pizza, a delectable fusion of Romano cheese, fresh garlic, olive oil, parsley, and clams. Originating at Frank Pepe Pizzeria Napolitana, countless imitators across the state pay homage to this coastal culinary masterpiece. You like seafood, do you? Come on! Oh. Delaware. Yep. Delaware? Delaware residents find comfort in chicken and slippery dumplings, aptly named for their silky smooth glide down your throat. These dumplings, rolled to paper-thin perfection and sliced into generous rectangles, can also feature duck or turkey for a cozy, homey meal. This is my turkey. Florida. One slice of key lime pie and five spoons. Florida's most famous export besides oranges may be key lime pie. Named after the small, tart, aromatic limes commonly associated with the Florida Keys, the meringue-topped pie combines the tangy lime juice with sweetened condensed milk and egg yolk, all poured into a graham cracker crust. Variations appear on virtually every menu south of the Georgia border. You just graduated pie school, bitch. Sorry I said bitch. I'm just really worked up. Georgia. I'm a yoga nut, and I'm a nut nut. <laughs> Georgia's official crop is a global hit, essential for PB&J sandwiches and other food staples. But in the heart of peanut country, Georgia's official state crop takes a savory twist in the form of boiled peanuts. Tender and soft textured, they're simmered with salt and spices, making extra seasoning unnecessary. It's perfect. Hawaii. Warmest aloha, sir. In the aloha state, shaved ice reigns supreme, an elevated version of the snow cone. Top spots create fluffy, finely shaved ice using razor-sharp blades. Flavors range from lychee to wedding cake, making this tropical treat a must-try Hawaiian delight. Trust me, bro. Idaho. Potatoes a la what? 
just potatoes. Idaho residents swear by the colossal Jim Spud, a mammoth Idaho potato piled high with six ounces of teriyaki steak scraps, caramelized onions, butter, sour cream, and a mountain of oozing cheddar cheese. It's a beastly delight best enjoyed with company for a spud-tacular experience. Pun intended. Illinois. Chicago! The Big Apple! Outside of the Windy City, the deep dish pizza debate rages on, but the love for this cheesy delight is universal. Baked in a pan with salty tomato sauce and buttery crust, it oozes with cheesy goodness. Customizable, yet locals swear by the classic plain sausage, making it an Illinois must-have. Trust me when I say this. Indiana. Would you like some pork? Indiana shares a love for pork tenderloin sandwiches, especially when they're fried to golden perfection. They're not just big, they're Indiana's unofficial sandwich royalty. These sandwiches feature a breaded and fried pork tenderloin cutlet nestled on a hearty Kaiser roll, adorned with lettuce, tomatoes, and other classic condiments. I want that sandwich! Iowa. His favorite food is... corn. In the heartland, Iowa's obsession with sweet corn is as natural as the crops themselves. Knee high by the 4th of July is the local mantra. Come summer, truckloads of this golden delight hit markets and street corners. They even have festivals dedicated to the crop. Wow, that good, huh? Kansas. Finally, the ribs. In the sunflower state, finger licking is an art form. Kansas is all about well smoked barbecue ribs, baby back to be precise. These succulent wonders get a special rub, a trip to the smoker, and a smothering of lip smacking barbecue sauce. Pair them with cheesy potatoes or smoked mac and cheese for the ultimate barbecue experience. Where's my mac and cheese? First time here? Then show us some love and hit that subscribe button. Hey, it's free. Now let's get back to our cross-country trip. The show goes on! Kentucky. These finger sandwiches look finger-looking delicious, Pam. Louisville's Brown Hotel gave birth to the iconic Hot Brown in 1926. Oh. Chef Fred Schmidt concocted this hearty delight to revitalize dinner dance patrons. It's an open-faced turkey sandwich on toast, smothered in Mornay sauce, garnished with Roma tomato halves and toast points broiled to perfection and crowned with crispy bacon slices. Kentucky cuisine at its finest. That's just perfect. Louisiana. Everyone likes a gumball machine. So why not a gumbo machine? Gumbo is a Louisiana culinary gem, holding the title of official state cuisine. This hearty dish is a tapestry of diverse influences, blending African, French, and Choctaw flavors. Cooked in a giant pot, it can be made with chicken, sausage, or a seafood medley. No soup for you! Maine. Lobster, 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 you are delicious. Oh. In Maine, the lobster roll reigns supreme, given that a whopping 90% of U.S. lobsters hail from its coastal waters. These rolls are a generous heap of chunky lobster with minimal fillers, embodying the pure essence of Maine's ocean bounty, a true taste of the sea in every bite. We're having lobster. Maryland. Where's the blue? The blue color. Maryland's signature dish is all about Chesapeake Bay's blue crab, celebrated for its delectable sweet white meat. While the blue crab population face challenges, conservation strides are rejuvenating this state treasure. The purest way to savor these beauties? Steamed to perfection and dusted with a tantalizing spice blend. A true taste of Maryland's seafood heritage. <laughs> yeah, boy. Massachusetts. Are you enjoying the clam chowder? In Massachusetts, clam chowder reigns as the ultimate culinary symbol. Seafood is a way of life, and their chowder reflects that devotion. It's a creamy, comforting masterpiece made with fresh clams, salt pork, vegetables, light cream, and fish stock. Don't forget wow. the oyster crackers. Always remember that. Michigan. A pie. A pie. The pasty is a hand pie with Cornish origins, which found a unique home in Michigan when Cornish immigrant copper miners introduced it. Evolving in the Upper Peninsula, it was embraced by the Finnish community as well. Regardless of its heritage, the pasty has earned its place as a quintessential Michigan dish. It was delicious. Minnesota. Too hot. 
burn my damn tongue. <laughs> you might think of it as a casserole, but Minnesotans proudly call it hot dish. This comforting concoction blends beef or chicken, veggies, and canned cream of mushroom soup crowned with tater tots. From church suppers to family gatherings, this easy-to-make classic graces tables all over the North Star State. What is that? Casserole. Mississippi. Fish for sport only, not for meat. Mississippi boasts the finest fried catfish around. No surprise, considering its title as the world's leading producer of pond-raised catfish. Prepared with lard, cornmeal, and an array of spices, this crispy delicacy is a hearty and satisfying meal. It's no doubt a Southern comfort classic. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Missouri. Fried? <laughs> Missouri's specialty, toasted ravioli, isn't quite what you think. It's actually fried, not toasted. These crispy bites hold seasoned ground meat and arrive with a side of marinara sauce. A beloved snack in the show me state, they're an unexpected twist on the classic Italian favorite. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Montana. Jumanji berry. In the northwestern U.S., particularly Montana's mountainous regions, huckleberries flourish. These versatile berries find their way into syrups, jams, ice cream, and even pretzels. Their flavor, ranging from tart to sweet, carries a gentle blueberry-like taste. On me fait de blueberry, por favor. Nebraska. What's your favorite food? While Nebraska lacks an official state food, the unofficial favorite is the Runza sandwich. This savory delight is reminiscent of a Hot Pocket, featuring soft, fluffy bread filled with seasoned beef, cabbage, and onions. In other Midwest regions, it goes by the name Birok, and it's a culinary legacy brought to the U.S. by German-Russian Mennonite immigrants. Danke. Nevada. What's for dinner? Dinner? <laughs> Lovingly dubbed Steggs, this no-frills late night or early morning plate is a Nevada tradition adored by casino workers, night owls, and tourists alike. 24-hour diners near the Las Vegas Strip serve it up, featuring a New York Strip steak, two eggs, toast, and potatoes. Every hour, 24 hours a day. New Hampshire. Whip up a quick poutine, you're taking over Canada. New Hampshire natives, particularly around Manchester, hold a special place in their hearts for this iconic French-Canadian delight. Authentic poutine features gravy-drenched cheese curds atop crispy fries, but restaurants will often offer their own personal takes, such as smoked meat, green pepper, or even chicken or beef poutine. I want everything. New Jersey. French fries and gravy, sir. Poutine. New Jersey's response to Canada's poutine seems to be disco fries. The TikTok diner in Clifton claims to have originated them, but other Garden State spots share the dish's fame. Think crispy French fries draped in melted mozzarella and warm gravy. This classic snack, although predating the disco era, earned its name in the 1970s when night owls stumbled in after a night of dancing and libations. Gravy. New Mexico. Give me some chili Frito. Frito pie's origin is hazy, but one tale traces it to 1960s New Mexico. A beloved local delight, it features Frito's corn chips topped with beef chili, often adorned with shredded cheese and onions, and was historically served in the Frito's chip bag. How cool is that? Loving these state foods? Then go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you. Next! New York. I'm gonna go get me a New York slice. New York pizza is iconic. Known for its large, wide slices and thin, foldable, yet crispy crust, people will fold a slice in half to eat on the go. Tradition dictates tomato sauce and mozzarella as the base, with additional toppings piled atop the cheese. The sauce. Oh, my on the sauce. Continue. North Carolina. Dude, shut up! That is awesome sauce. In the heart of the barbecue Thanks. battles, North Carolina's claim to fame is its sauce. In the Lexington region, it's all about a tangy, vinegar-based concoction featuring ketchup, salt, pepper, and the occasional secret spice. <sighs> North Dakota. I'm picking the dumplings for my wife. These dumplings go by various names, but are cherished as cheese buttons by North Dakotans. Slump little dumplings filled with creamy cottage cheese, and they're often boiled or pan-fried in butter. Toppings include cheese, scallions, sautéed onions, and a drizzle of fresh or sour cream. Mmm! Onion. 
Ohio. I'm never eating chili again. Ooh, chili! Ohio's signature chili is a unique delight. It's a thin, gently spiced meat sauce that generously blankets coney dogs or heaps of spaghetti. It's typically topped with shredded cheddar, onions, and beans with a serving of oyster crackers. Do you have any more of those little oyster crackers left? You ate them all! Oklahoma. This steak is medium rare. I asked for it medium. In Oklahoma, steak takes the title of dinner's darling. You'll find steak served at all mealtimes. Varieties abound, including the beloved chicken fried steak, a hearty slab of beef steak breaded and pan fried to perfection. Don't forget the gravy. I remember that. Oregon. Black fruits are like. They mean like blackberries. The Marion oh. Berry, developed at Oregon State University through a partnership with the U.S. Department of Agriculture in the early 1900s, was created by crossing two types of blackberries. These berries, known for their fragrant sweetness, are transformed into muffins, jam, ice cream, and the beloved fresh pie. It's evolution! Pennsylvania. Should we get lunch? I would love a cheesesteak. I was thinking the exact same thing. A Pennsylvania legend, the Philly cheesesteak boasts thinly sliced griddle fried beef, often accompanied by onions and crowned with your choice of cheese whiz, American, or provolone. And of course, it's all held together on a long roll. This is really good cheesesteaks. Rhode Island. What kind of coffee is it? A cherished Rhode Island tradition, coffee milk is nearly a century old and earned the title of the official state drink in 1993. This delightful concoction blends coffee and sugar syrup with frosty milk, delivering a unique take on a milkshake. Yummy. South Carolina. What is the soup du jour? It's the soup of the day. A rich soup similar to bisque, South Carolina's she crab soup mixes cream, fresh crab meat, the distinctive red-orange roe from female crabs, earning it the she crab moniker, and a hint of sherry. It can be found on menus from low country to the upstate. It is the best. South Dakota. Bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fat? Lefse, a cherished Norwegian-American tradition, takes the form of thin potato bread, best savored with a slather of butter and a sprinkle of sugar for those with a sweet tooth. It's a homemade delight, typically crafted in South Dakota kitchens rather than restaurants. This sh makes everything delicious. Tennessee. Brisket rub, Memphis rub. Tennessee's Memphis-style ribs come in two delicious varieties. Dry ribs are generously coated with a flavorful dry rub, while wet ribs are continuously basted with mouth-watering sauce throughout the cooking journey. One rib. Texas. My mother needs a head count so she can know how big a brisket to get. Everything's bigger in Texas, including their love for barbecue. Texas barbecue is all about hefty cuts of meat, notably brisket, expertly seasoned with a simple mix of salt and black pepper. Slow cooked over indirect heat, it absorbs flavors from hickory and oak wood smoke. Love that barbecue. Utah. Look what I found. French fries? In Utah, a unique twist on condiments elevates the fry experience. Fry sauce, a flavorful blend of ketchup, lemon juice, eggs, and a few secret elements is reminiscent of Thousand Island dressing. Mm. Vermont. You guys want a 10% discount on duty-free maple syrup? Do I ever? As the top U.S. producer, Vermont's maple syrup is like liquid gold. Collected from maple trees in winter, the sap is heated to remove water, resulting in this sweet delicacy. It's used on just about everything, from pancakes and waffles to bacon and even salmon. Sounds sweet. Virginia. Peanut? Virginia's culinary heritage shines through its peanut soup, inspired by African roots and embraced during colonial times. A wholesome blend of onion, celery, chicken stock, and peanut butter forms the core. How many times have I asked you to put the lid back on the peanut butter jar? Washington. Maybe some salmon or something? Just gonna... You know. Salmon holds a special place in Washington State's culinary heart. From casual diners to upscale restaurants, the state offers an array of salmon dishes, ranging from humble to extravagant. Locals are discerning connoisseurs, favoring wild-caught varieties like sockeye and king salmon when in season. Farmed salmon often gets a pass. Pass. Yeah. 
West Virginia. Ooh, pepperoni! Born out of necessity in West Virginia's coal mines, pepperoni rolls have risen to become the state's official food. These handheld delights feature spicy pepperoni sticks baked within warm, fluffy rolls. Newer takes may include sautéed onions, peppers, and marinara. Nine onions? Oh, Amy. Wisconsin. Wisconsin's got great cheese. Wisconsin is famous for its cheese curds, small lumps of cheddar collected before they form into blocks. Loved by all ages, they offer a moist, springy bite and a mild, salty flavor. They're best eaten fresh because that's when they squeak. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. Wyoming. Would you like some bread? In Wyoming, you can savor Native American heritage through fry bread, a dish now used for tacos. This hearty platter resembles a taco salad, with house-made fry bread taking the place of a traditional taco shell. It provides a tasty base for toppings like cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and seasoned taco meat. It's Taco Tuesday! Got a state favorite we should know about? Let us know and hit that subscribe button and check out another great video.